Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to John Dalton Ellie Like. Welcome to another little video. This time, I'm actually gonna do, um, you know, do a little introduction video because I didn't. I usually don't do these types of things because, well, I just put the video out and just let the text happen. But yeah, as you can see, some footage is going to be a little bit mixed up here and there because, well, mainly I'll be showcasing most of the footage of you know the beginning parts of certain, you know beginning um you know fight sequences between me and the bosses and then the other f parts of the footage will just be me later on beating some of the bosses as well as uh, like images of you know me getting stuff for you know the fights that are to come a lot of this is just you know hey me getting this getting that for the particular tournament fights and stuff like that there's also going to be some extra little footage here and there of me getting other extra stuff such as you know um, upgrades to my magic in certain places or just fighting off certain other bosses things like that it's all dependent and it'll get there at some point you'll see what I mean once we actually get to do that so keep that in mind I guess but I'll see you all when I actually get to it you know you know get to the actual fights themselves so all of these are basically all the secret bosses and I decided to do them instead of the Hercules or the Hercules, uh, Olympus Coliseum's, uh, Hades Cup because, well, I wanted to punish myself, I guess. I did beat them eventually. I might put up a counter as to how many times it took me to actually beat some of these bosses because, oh boy, it actually took a while, actually. <laughs> Ooh. Anyway, let, let's just get started. Oh yeah, by the way, the way I'm handling this is that I'm showcasing the actual footage of me doing the thing. But, uh, mainly it's just, uh, what do you call it? It is me doing something, like actually fighting, uh, you know, showcasing the opening cutscene to the boss and then nothing else, because after that, mainly it just really de devolved into just me getting my butt kicked after that. So the first time, it's just an opening cutscene with me trying my best the first time, and then, you know, failing, and then nothing else happening, so, you know, there you go. You'll see other footage of me actually trying uh, near towards the end of the boss's health, so, you know, it's not a complete waste, but I didn't want to show all of the footage of just me getting my butt handed to me, so there you go. Showing the beginning stuff, but then all the middle stuff is cut out until the very end of the stuff, so. Well, except for one fight, but you'll see what I mean by that, okay? So, be prepared, guys, for that. Fire! Come on! 
you I am Sam What's that supposed to mean? Oh, my God. 
Come 
Well, did not expect to do that. Uh, then Zetsuki. Oh, and some. Oh, there, there. Wait, what? Sandy Blade, what? Hold up. Ugh, oof, sorry. Defeat Kurt Zia Zisay. Kurt Zisay in Agraba. Well, okay. Um. Hmm. Well, well, as you saw beforehand, I just fought against the ghost thing in Neverland, and I got my butt kicked. Uh, wait, did I not have 11? Oh, maybe there's, maybe there's 12, or maybe 13 I'm thinking of. Okay, no, you can get 8 from somewhere, but, um, okay, okay then. That was my first try with Kurt Zizé. Zizé? Um, Heartless that emerged from uh, the keyhole opened by the princess. It swung. It's uh, da -da 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 their bat attack. But Zoro sought out its weaknesses and there emerged victorious. Yeah, that that was one of the secret bosses that I was talking about beforehand. Kurt Zizé, whatever. Oh yeah, and, then, and we also fought this thing, the jet balloon, which was something in Neverland again, but it's a different thing entirely. It's one of those rare Heartless. But anyway, um, yeah. We, I just finished fighting the thing, and I expected to lose a little bit more. Uh, kind of. Look, I'm not saying that boss is the easiest of the secret bosses. It's just that it's, it has its own little gimmick to it. As you saw beforehand, whenever it's in its bubble, whenever it has its orbs out, it restricts our magic, and we have to hit it physically. If it has its, what do you call it? It's, um, when it's in its giant bubble, like in its, uh, meditative bubble stance you have to hit that with magic so that way it weakens mushu usually is a decent person for this if you can dodge and you know move around enough although i i'm although i could have sworn mushu you know does an automatic fire by himself or you know if you move around he fires by himself i think maybe i, I forget but you can you know whittle down the guy's um whole bar thing pretty quickly with mushu if you try at least if you try um yeah, and the last time I did this, the game, I wasn't actually able to beat the guy, like, um, at, at this particular level. I had to be at level, like, 60 before I did that. So, I'm a little bit surprised that, you know, you know, I was able to actually do that. So, yeah, that, that's the secret boss in Agrabah that I was talking about. That's one out of the other ones. The other two bosses are one in Hollow Bastion, like I said, and the other one is in, um, the Olympus Coliseum. Which isn't the Hades thing, the Hades Cup. I'll get to that when I get to that. Um, I'm just really, like, I wasn't going to plan to actually talk through this. Because, like, the things you're seeing right now are all opening-esque cutscene things I want to showcase. And the fights that I do, which are just me focusing hard on fighting the boss. So, that's why you hear no audio whenever I do them. So, yeah. The, the... <laughs> okay, okay. So, you know, whenever this happens, like, you know, a particular... Uh, thing you see happens uh, it usually means uh, like oh I'm doing the boss fight but at the end of it you might not see me actually comment on the boss like oh uh, as soon as you see an opening thing you won't hear me talk about it or anything else uh, the only time you'll hear me talking about this type of stuff afterwards is once I actually beat the boss it's like oh finally I finally did it I finally did the thing I wanted to do so, when you hear me say that, then, yeah, uh, that's when I'm going to be talking, not before the boss fight. Uh, so, anyway, I'll see y'all until the next boss fight. Because this is going to be, like, one of those boss fight episodes before I do the Hades Cup, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I was thinking about grinding, which I will be doing later, but for now, let's just do the whole fight fights. Uh, let's do some bigger fights, at least. So, I'll see you when I do the next boss fight.
Oh my god! I actually did it! I, I, I thought I screwed myself there at the very end. Hold up. Turn off my fan. Oh, power of time. Stop Gara. Stop Gara. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, ooh. Gotta save the cloaked shadow. Is that what it says? I don't care. I really don't. Wait, actually, I care. Never mind. I don't. I don't. Save. 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 God damn you. Oh. Okay, that boss took a little bit too long to do, slash a little bit too long to prepare for. But I don't care. I did it. I did the biggest thing ever I have ever done. Oh, God. I've never beaten that boss ever. Like, that's always been the boss that's always killed me off more times. And it's usually because I ran out of items, I run out of magic at the wrong time. It's like, all of that could have gone south so bad. Thank God. Thank God. Thank any God above that the thing allows itself to, you know, turn down to white at some certain points. Otherwise, Peter Pan and then Goofy would have died without me. Uh, no, I mean, they would have literally died and I would have done nothing. Cost, okay, it costs 2 MP to do the thing Goofy needs to do. I was thinking, like, Goofy, give me MP. But I was like, no, he needs 2, so that's why. Oh. oh, I'm just glad. I'm just glad it's over, honestly. Like, thank Christ. I want to see when they're not doing this will do anything. No, uh, okay, I guess it does nothing. Okay, well that's fine. Ooh. Okay, let me read the journal because it took me this long to beat it. Might as well learn its stupid name or its dumb name. I'm I'm being mad at it. Okay, the Phantom. I'm gonna read this because Jesus Christ. Ghost like heartless that haunted the clock tower standing far away from Neverland. Fluttering its eerie cloak, it cast a spell to take Sora's heart. Having no physical body, regular attacks were useless, but in the end, Sora and company discovered its weakness and weakness and prevailed. This boss is one of the most unfair bosses I've ever seen in in Kingdom Hearts in general. A lot of the other bosses you could, you know, somewhat chalk up to, you know, your poor skill level. And maybe certain other little BS's, somewhat. But this boss is just unfair. A lot of other people can agree, somewhat. Here's the thing, you need, like, a party member you're not equipped with, usually, or you're usually okay with. Peter Pan just didn't really help too much. He doesn't cast any elemental magic against the, uh, boss. And can only hit whenever the boss is, like, singularly, like, literally weak in an elemental sense. It's like, oh, fire, ice, water. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, fire, ice, um, fire, ice, lightning. Yeah, okay. Peter Pan has no magical abilities. Literally none. Wait, let me check. Let's see. Do you? Do you? Let's see. Rain darts. Freeze time. Freeze time. Wrap yourself in a wind. See, look, the only thing he can do is possibly stop time, which is going to come in handy a little bit later, or at least they're going to talk about for this clock thing. But no, no, here's the thing about the entire boss as a whole, is that th the main mechanic of it is, you know, you have to hit it elementally while its heart is in certain places. You know, fire, ice, fine. That type of boss fight, I guess, is fine to a degree. But here's the, my main issue. You have to stop this stupid big ass clock from going down to zero whenever you're 
when, whenever he casts that extra spell on your party members. And he usually does that at the start of the fight, so you can't do anything about it. So, what he does, basically, just so anyone who, you know, wants to know, is he casts a one-hit death spell. I'm pretty sure you guys saw it firsthand. If it's on a party member and they have a number gauge on top of their head, slowly it whittles down until finally, BOOM! Your, your party member is dead and you have nothing and you can't do anything in order to save them. You can't even revive the party members once they die. Literally, you can't save them. They go away, and you can't touch them, you can't heal them, you can't do anything. So you're stuck one... D so you're down one party member. It's not like Peter Pan was that helpful. Helpful. He's only really here for, you know, giving out items. That's it. And that's what I stalked him with. All uh, H... Some HP, and mainly, uh... Ether, or, you know, MP items. It's, you know, to see him continues to somewhat die a few times here and there throughout this entire fight because that's basically what he did throughout this entire fight he was decently okay hitting the boss whenever it was white but he was basically getting himself killed a few other times I had to revive him twice in order to let him use some of his other ether items on me and he ran out by the time you know um, I at the final moments when I was using the stop spell on the clock to stop his countdown I do want to mention that for some reason, at certain points, I'm pretty sure you guys noticed it too. Like, for some reason, like, anytime I did cast Stop Spell near the Clock Tower, like, all of a sudden, boom, the Clock Tower wouldn't stop. I don't know why. You have to get really in there in order for the spell to actually work. I will say, though, the other positive that Peter Pan does give is his Arrow Spell, which, you know, uh, puts me in a cloak of wind so that way I don't take that much damage from the boss's one other attack it performs. But still, how are you supposed to know beforehand you're supposed to put the spells on you like you know fire, ice, fire, ice, thunder, doing them in this way like you know going to them even though they're the top three is very much still like trouble inducing. It's like oh I gotta get it to the gotta get it to which, wait which spell which spell. It's like it's somewhat stress inducing to a degree. And it's maddening to see, like, how exactly you would be able to actually do this. Seriously, who could do this? Who would do this? How would anyone actually be able to do this? I don't know, but apparently they thought it was a good, like, mechanic in this game to have it. You know what? I'd be, like, completely fine if they just, you know, outright didn't do the whole one-hit kill mechanic where, you know, your characters could die due to, you know, a clock going down to zero. That type of mechanic sounds dumb, but, you know, if it was out of the way and all I had to worry about was actually touching the boss in regards to everything else, like, all I had to worry about was touching the boss, hitting him with elemental attacks, and that was it. And I had to deal with his uh, projectile that would kill me if I stayed in one place and I had to turn around quickly, like, you know, like, like that, or maybe in a circle. I don't know how you get rid of it, but I got rid of it a couple of times. But yeah, if I was only, like, had to worry, if it was only that, and I had to only worry about that singular thing at all times, this wouldn't have been that bad of a boss fight. But it is, and it's kind of a bad boss fight in the Kingdom Hearts series. I don't care what anyone else says. If you have to rely on a, your own MP meter, which isn't something that you can refill by itself, which, by the way, maybe if this fight was in Kingdom Hearts, you know, 2... Where, you know, you could fly or maybe, you know, uh, there wasn't a one-hit death kill because they don't have the stop spell in there. But uh, maybe if you were just have, you know, magical spells, uh, what do you call it, you know, you, you had your MP bar being able to auto-refill and all you had to do was survive long enough before it could refill. And maybe if they give the stop spell, maybe you could just stop it and stop the clock, wait for your thing to refill and you can keep hitting them. That'd be okay. But in this game, you have to rely heavily on your MP bar being refilled by items and those things are limited and if you're out of items well you're out of luck kid suck it you're gonna have to wait until like you're literally literally like almost dead or the thing or you have to get the thing to kill you or wait until you become cursed or you know wait for your final curse to come about and then you die so hey basically that's a great way of ending off a boss fight right you know when you're so close you're so almost there, you're 
final moments are at hand and then all of a sudden oh you run out of items you can't refill your MP and you're stuck so that's great and yes that's happened to me twice actually three times with this boss fight in particular I, I, I can't remember it's six <laughs> okay it's four times I think because the other four other times I had to do this which was a total of eight by the way this is my ninth attempt but the other four times were just me trying to get myself killed because you know, I didn't want to have to do this anymore. Like, I literally didn't want to have to, like, get myself... You know, I didn't want to have to continuously die to the freaking boss fights, um, the boss's uh, time-killing spell, which would have taken forever because, you know, at that time I was out of, like, magic, both Donald and... Both Goofy and Peter Pan were dead, so I couldn't do anything, so I was like, eh, just kill me already, like, hit me. Okay, good, I just want to get out of here. But thankfully, thanks to some of grinding, I was able to beat this boss. That doesn't mean I'm able to beat the next next boss, but still. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see y'all next time. If this isn't like the closing, closing, then I don't know what is. Because the rest of the stuff is not going to be closing. It's just going to be stuff I do, I guess. I don't know. Give me strength. Come on, come on. Win! <laughs>
Well, that was intense, and actually, I I actually didn't die in that whole thing. Would you believe me? I said that was my first time actually entering through there. If you don't, then I wouldn't blame you, but, yeah, whatever. Impressive. <laughs> What's with me beating some of these bosses just one in one turn? I don't get it. After I get beaten by them, this will be enjoyable. Or at least something else. You what get are you talking about? Use the car. Oh. What the? I think this disc skipped. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Beyond your comprehension for now. Yes, it really is. Uh, poor Sora. Until we meet again, we shall go together. Wait, what are you? <gasps> Eve time traveling. I am. But a mere shell. I am but a mere shell. EXP necklace. Yay. Phantom report 13. Okay, so there's 13 reports. Man who doesn't yet exist. The one who doesn't exist. Okay. He who doesn't exist. Okay, I think that's that, that's the actual 
term for that. Okay, well, that was the Anthem fight, and oh, my thumb is kind of sore after that. Yes, I brute forced my way throughout that entire fight. I don't care, and I don't think I don't care if it's shameful or it's not shameful, whatever. Yep, that does it for that fight. Maybe I'll do the next extra. I'm not looking forward to it, but you will see an opening cutscene, and maybe I'm gonna talk in that one. Maybe I don't know. <laughs>
Almost messed that up at the end there. I won, you emo pretty boy. Now get the out of my game. I'll see you in the sequel. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just got really angry at that. Oh, oh god. Oh man. Oh. Whoo. Oh. One winged angel. Thanks, Sephiroth. Oh, there's the Anthem Report 12. I was like wondering. Oh. One winged angel. Thanks. Oh. Oh, 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 that hurts. That hurts so much. Save, save, save the ever loving, loving F the game. Ooh, well, that was the platinum match, everyone. Sephiroth. Let's see the keyblade real quick. Uh, one winged angel. Oh. It's, it's, it's not bad, it's just that it's worse than the actual keyblade I have. Which makes sense, because this took forever to get. So I'm glad it didn't get outclassed by this thing. Has little power, but sometimes uh, deals extremely... Uh, let, let me check. Okay, the Oath... It's better than... Oh, wait, no. Oblivion's better than this thing. Uh, Oath Keeper is technically better than this thing. So your whole thing for getting that is both an Anthem Report and dealing with Sephiroth. Of course, that's all you get. Okay, where's Report 8, exactly? Seriously, where is 8? Okay, question mark, handsome. Okay, I was like wondering, is Sephiroth not here? Okay, there we go. Ugh. Oh. Ugh, oh, I feel bad. I feel really, like, sticky. Okay, to showcase, exactly, just so people understand. Uh, the items I took into actually fighting Sephiroth were all the rest of my elixirs or mixer things. Meaning that everything you saw that was used in this entire row was all either elixirs or mega elixirs. Now people would, will say, you know, to some degree, maybe I shouldn't have used all of them, and maybe I should have saved some of them for, like, something else important. No, this was the only real important thing to do with them. So yeah, I think using them for this particular moment was better than nothing. Uh, the real issue I had with Sephiroth was any time he cast that spell, I had to run towards him, and before he cast the spell on me, which was the Halo Angel thing, which basically nearly killed me. 
the only reason I didn't die was because I had my uh, second chance on, so thank goodness for that. But, oh yeah, this is a new cutscene. Well, not new, I think it's somewhat old. I'm, I'm not sure. But uh, this this is what happens once you beat Seth Roth in the Platinum match afterwards. Which kind of doesn't make too much sense since Cloud does appear later on. But I'm pretty sure you're supposed to do this after the Hades Cup, so, you know. Either way. The thing with, like, Cloud and Sephiroth is that they have this thing connected to each other in the Kingdom Hearts story. Outside of it, it's more cut and dry as to what their relationship is. But out inside of Kingdom Hearts, it's a little bit more confusing somewhat. Uh, Sephiroth is supposed to be the darkness in Cloud, which I assume means he's a Heartless of some kind? But even that doesn't make sense to me. Uh, I assume he's either that or something else special. Th they never elaborate too well, but let's just read the cutscene. Uh, because, like... As you can tell, it's somewhat new. I, I'm not sure whether or not this happens in, like, the original or not. Because I've never beaten Sephiroth in the original, so, you know. I've been looking for you. As have I. As long as you exist, I'll never wake from this nightmare. You're my darkness. I'm part of you, am I? Technically, yes. And how exactly that entails? Nobody knows. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just they never explain that fully. They just say, oh, I'm your darkness, and that's about it. As if we should know what that is. I assume he's a heartless, or at least, um, uh, Cloud's heartless, but I don't get, that's not it either. Okay, I'm part of you, am I? Then join me in this internal nightmare, untarnished by light. Ugh. You know, you're even more emo or goth, whichever one you want to prefer, than Cloud is in this game. And that's very hard to do. I mainly uh, blame, uh, what do you call it, Cloud's notability as this type of caricature, caricature, because that's the only thing that depicts him ever anymore. At least in certain crossover things. I will say, this cutscene, this whole animation thing, is awesome. I'm not saying it's not awesome. Unfortunately though, it's short, and that's about it. What happens to those two? Nobody knows. Actually, the thing is, like, you may be thinking, well, what do you mean, what happens to those two? That just happened, so that means they're still fighting, right? No, apparently, whenever uh, Cloud and Sephiroth ever fight each other, they somehow, either with each other's power together somehow, somehow, like, teleport each other into separate different places, or maybe in the same place, and then they separate after that. It's sort of like, think of it like the Dragon Balls from Dragon Ball Z, or Dragon Ball itself, like the series. You know the Dragon Balls, whenever they're brought together, they w wished upon, and after they uh, wished together, they go up into the air and they separate all across the globe? Think of it sort of like that, to where once, you know, Sephiroth and Cloud are together, if they ever come together, then they fight each other, and somehow that causes them both to separate and then split off into different worlds, or be somehow, like, pushed back into other worlds. Uh, usually Cloud is found in places that his friends can at least find him to a degree. But, um, Sephiroth, I'm not sure where he goes. And I'm not sure whether or not they end up in the same place, keep fighting, and then immediately, like, push off of each other or something? I don't know. Again, that's never explained fully too well, at least in Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. I'm sure in the spin-offs they explain that, but to me as a fan who just plays the... who played the sequel games as of right now, yeah, that made no sense to me. So let's see, that's one, two, three, four. That's all four secret bosses dealt with. All that's really left now is the Hades Cup and certain other grinding stuff. I'll be back and I'll do the Hades Cup next, like I promised. But I'll do that after, after I get some grinding stuff, like actually get my material stuff. Like, uh, after I get Donald and Goofy's the better weapon stuff. Uh, I need to go check what I need to get. But until that happens, thank you all for watching this episode. And I'm kind of proud of it, honestly, because I'm going to Four super bosses, all together. Not in one day, though. I, I did this over two days. And no, not three, four, five, eight over two days. <laughs> but you get the point.
Uh, I'll see y'all next time for the next video. Until then, sorry on my butts. Take care. Oh, Christ.